Though Oral Robbins grew up undersized in stature, his competitive spirit and fiery attitude earned him a spot on Mack High's varsity football team as only a ninth grade middle schooler in 1919. Known to teammates and friends as Robbie, he worked his way into the rotation and eventually became the Grizzlies' starting tight end and defensive end in the following season. Over the next three years, Robbie helped the football team to a 16-7 and overall record, while outscoring their opponents by an average of three touchdowns to one per game. On the basketball court, Oral contributed as the starting power forward, earning a varsity letter all three seasons. Robbie utilized his great speed and quickness to play great defense and beat his opponents to every loose ball and rebound, outrunning everyone on the fast break for easy baskets, while also possessing an excellent jump shot. His scrappy play and determination helped lead the Bears all the way to the state semifinal playoff game in 1921, ending his basketball career with a winning percentage of over 60%. Robbie became the baseball team's number one pitcher by his junior season while also being the top third baseman. He helped the Bears to three straight winning seasons while being one of their leaders in batting average, runs, hits, stolen bases, doubles, and strikeouts thrown. In 1924, he enrolled at Oregon State University and competed on the freshman football and baseball teams, eventually lettering once in baseball. Robbie pitched and played third base, once hitting two home runs in the same game to culminate his baseball career. He played tight end on the Beaver varsity football team from his sophomore to senior seasons, first as a backup, then becoming a starter as a junior. OSU went undefeated at home from 1925 to 32, winning 26 games in the process while outscoring their opponents by over 22 points per game. Oral was part of it all as he compiled a 17-win and 6-loss career record, earning himself a Western Conference All-Star selection in 1926. As a senior, he set the current school record for all-time longest returned blocked punt at 76 yards in a game against USC. Robbie spent the next few years finishing his graduate degree in education at Linfield College back home in McMinnville. During his time there, he served as an assistant coach for the varsity football, basketball, and baseball teams while coaching some of McMinnville's greatest athletes such as Paul Durham and Roy Helzer, among others, in the process. His first teaching and coaching job was at Amity High School, where he spent nine years teaching everything from PE to social studies to science classes, while coaching all boys athletic teams and even girls tennis, dubbing him with a new nickname of Mr. Coach. His achievements at Amity are legendary, leading the school to their first ever state playoff appearance in any sport in 1936. He compiled several league championships, including a second place state finish for football in 1937 and a baseball state championship the following year. From 1942 through 44, Robbins taught and coached boys sports at Vernonia High School, where he advanced their football team into the state tournament, before coming home once again to MHS in 1945. He taught P.E. and coached football, basketball, and baseball for the Bears, while shaping many great all-star athletes such as former inductees George Allison and Don Porter. During his five years at Mack High, he led the Grizzlies to six league titles and seven playoff appearances, while being recognized with one Coach of the Year award. On September 15, 1950, in the morning of the Grizzlies' first football game of the season, Oral was checked into a Portland hospital due to stomach pain. Five weeks later, he passed away at the age of 47. Mack High dedicated their season to him, as well as naming two athletic awards after him, including Most Inspirational. He was known as a man not big in stature, but big in heart, always practicing and preaching good sportsmanship and fair play, always humble, never bragging about wins or complaining about losses, and was often deflecting praise for such successes towards his players and coaches. Today we remember Oral Robbins for the great player, coach, and person that he was, taken from us all too soon.